Okay, now we're having a look at my latest little project, the Mini Blackout H Quad. Okay, a little bit awesome, tiny. Okay, now these motors are um, 2300 kV. They run a little five, little five uh, inch prop. They are from Blackout. Okay, now this little unit here, you can see I've just purchased this. This is the um, distribution board and it's got a cool little set of LEDs underneath. Okay, so yeah, thought I'd run that instead of running all this wiring here. So now what it does have is up the front here. Now this is a this is a three woven carbon frame. Now I know you're going to say, hmm, that looks nice. I might go and get one, and uh, by all means do. Frames about 150 bucks, so hmm, it's um, you get what you pay for. I think it's a good item. I bought it for me for my birthday, and I uh, thought, why not? Instead of flying um, your um, your 16 dollar frames, I thought I would um, get something of, of value. Now we're going to be flying the uh, tiny little. It's a it's a white spy. And you can see it in there amongst all the spaghetti, but it's a white spy um, pro board. Um, you can see I've put the anti vibration dampeners underneath it, I've had to cut them to make them sit in. And uh, what I've done is I've just wired the ESCs into those. I'll show you the, pin, the pins in a minute. But these are the 12 amp uh, Turnergy Plus ESCs. Now I've I've actually programmed them. I haven't uh, haven't done the old Simon K ones yet. If you have a look and go online and see if you're interested, they do recommend the Hobby King Blue Series 12 amp flash with Simon K. Um, they're on back order at the moment, so I thought I'd get these the cheapest chips. Plus, you see how fast they fly. They do about 200 mile an hour, or maybe maybe 60 mile an hour, but. Um, if you're wondering why I've got these uh, bags over the motors, it's not because of the weather. Uh, it's just to keep out any little nasties. You don't want anything going into your motor there and uh, causing it to chop out like um, uh, one of the motors in there somewhere, brand new. Got a, got a washer in there, spun it up, tore the, uh, tore the windings. So I've just put that over to protect it. Now these motors do need protecting. These motors are $45 um, a motor. So as you can see, this is a kind of an expensive rig. As I said, the frame's about, and, about 150 bucks. Um, the motors are about $45 each. So all up, you're gonna be looking at, by the time you get your camera, battery, um, you're gonna be looking at probably the better part of 500 bucks to get one of these guys up in the air. Um, this part here, um, you know, go figure this is just the distribution board doesn't replace the carbon fiber it just goes in there as well as on top but um, this guy here um, was about 16 bucks and if you're wondering about those rat straps I'll this is an Australian in made video, product so <laughs> hey it's got to be good eh? so whoops um, so that's that's my little latest build that's how we're going with it so we're going to be running the multi Wii 2.2 on this guy I've flown I've bought two of these off Paul these are a fantastic board um, they are really 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 straightforward and very easy to fly I bought two of these uh, they were like $20 each and I've bought um, I've bought three of the um, easy flip boards I really like the easy flip boards they're the tiny little 36 mil board I run them in my little tiny little quads that you see the little 330 ones that are that are made out of the cut down um, 550 frames um, you know cut them down and um, make yourself a smaller frame you can see this one here's had a bit of a, a bit of a woof in it a bit of a bend a bit of a disagreement so it'll be a quad one day smaller quad but um, basically that's the build so you have got that's going to sit in there somewhere this is going to go underneath with the leads but the top of it looks exactly the same so the top of it will sit there like the, so um, transmitter up the top here out the back and there's a special little 600 TVL camera that fits in here and uh, pokes its nose out the front or its lens out the front here and just sits in behind here um, so basically what you're shooting at what you see 
um, and being very tiny, uh, what you see, you will um, you will in fact uh, point and go through. You see a lot of videos where people fly uh, these when we do these now. PV. So I'm still going to use the slow flying props that you still get a bit of mileage out of. You know these slow flying props, and I've also bought some carbon fibre composite props for these um, as well in the five inch. So. Um, that's the uh, that is going to be the latest uh, project. This is, as I said, this has taken a few months uh, to get up and running. I'm just taking my time with it. I'm in no bought hurry. The camera, you know, bought all the motors, bought everything, put it all together. Waited for this. Waited for the rat straps so that I can put the rat straps around and hold virtually everything in place. Had to wait for these to come out from the states. Um, you know, basically. All oh, good. Gee, someone's cooking a barbecue and that smells nice. So I'm going to wrap it up on that note and go and have something to eat. So uh, cheers.